Hey guys, welcome back. On today's episode, we are going to create our user profile page. So right now we have this profile link at the top where we are getting 404 not found. And also I would like to have the ability to change these profile images that we have right now. We have this temporary profile image. So before we are able to actually upload these images, we need our profile page. So let's go ahead and create that. So as always, I'm going to start off by creating our routes and I'm going to define a resource route. And because our users are using the user model, so we can say users, and then we don't have a controller for our users. So we can go ahead and actually create that. And in the terminal, I'm going to say PHP art send make controller. And before we were kind of manually creating all the, you know, index, create, show all of those things. If you want to automate this, uh, after typing in your user controller, after typing in your controller name, you can do dash uh, S, so dash R, or you can type in resource. And basically uh, with dash R, it should be dash dash resource or dash R. And if you do this, Laravel will go ahead and create all of those methods for you. Right now we have an error in our route, so I'll have to remove that. Okay, so now that we have done that, we have our controller and because we did that dash R or we can do dash dash resource, uh, Laravel went ahead and created all of these. Now I personally don't this, I do it sometimes, but usually you have to delete the ones you're not gonna use. So we don't need the destroy. Uh, I don't need the index for now, maybe later on. I don't need the create. I guess that's all we need, right? We also don't need store. So we need to show, edit and update. That's the three we need, so I'll keep that. Okay, good. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and pass in our uh, user controller. And as of now, we only need, as I said, show, uh, edit, and then update. So uh, obviously we wanna be able to update our user account. So we need those two as well. And for security reasons, I'm also gonna make sure that I pass in the auth middleware. So users are always logged in when they access the page. And that should be enough for now. So Let's go ahead in our controller and here we are using a string ID, right? So we can use a route binding that we learned, right? Model route binding. So I can here say user and then say user and that should actually work. And I need to import the user class. This is the exact same thing we did in our idea controller, right? In our show, we were doing idea, idea. The same concept will apply here. I'll actually repeat that for these as well. And for this request, you can actually delete that. We still haven't covered what this is. So for now, I'll actually just replace this with user, user, and we are good to go. And I'm gonna go ahead and return a view. So we need to create these views in a second, but I'm gonna name it users.show. And I'm gonna pass in our user, okay? So you can use compact or just pass in an array and that should get the job done for our edit. For now, I'll actually, yeah, I'll create an edit view for it as well. And for our update, obviously, we're not going to be displaying any views, right? So I'll leave that for now. Let's go ahead and create our views. So for this, we need to create a new folder. I'll name it users, right? Users. And then inside here, for now, we need show.blade.php and edit.blade.php. And we are good to go. So... Now for our profile page, I basically wanted to have a very similar layout to what we have here. So the sidebars are the same, but at the top we have basically the user's profile. And in our HTML template guys that I showed you guys on, I believe the second episode, we do have a profile page, so I'm gonna be using that. So I'll have the GitHub link in the description. You guys can copy the code for the profile there, but the layout is gonna be identical to our view idea page, okay, uh, here. So I'll copy the layout from here. So I'll show ideas.show. I'll copy this and I'll go back to our, I'll actually close all of these. So, and inside here, I'll basically copy it inside our user show. And here where we have the idea card, this is actually where the user's profile should go. So inside this profile, the HTML, we have a bunch of stuff. We have the header with the navigation. We don't want any of that. I'm gonna scroll until I find the profile page. I believe it's at line 79, yeah. So that's the card for it. 
it's going to be all the way down to line 113. So I'll copy that and I'll paste it in. And actually what I like to do is I'll actually refactor this into its own blade file. So inside shared, I'll create a new file and I call it usercard.blade.php. And I paste the code here because it's quite a big file. I don't like it inside here. And I'm going to go ahead and include it shared.usercard. And let's go ahead and see if our users account page works. So the route should be basically users and then slash and then the ID of that user. So I'll try one of the users we have and it is actually working. Now, right now it's all dummy data. So we need to populate that with the real user data. So let's go ahead and I, let's do that. I'll open up our user card. The first thing we need to update is the username. So I'll say user uh, name. Now we don't have a bio yet. So once we get uh, into updating, I'll add the bio and for the image migration, we'll do that for now. I'll leave that empty. Uh, for the number of followers, we still don't have that implemented. So I set that to zero. Uh, this next one, I believe is the number of ideas they have, right? So with the brain. So for this one, uh, we can get the user and use the migrations we had in our user model. So I'll open the user model. Uh, sorry, we had a relationship for ideas, not the migration. So we had a relationship for ideas and we can actually use this to get the number of ideas a user has. So the way it works, you call in the user model and then you access the ideas method. And then this method gives you kind of like a builder class. So you can run anything you, you want on your database. So I can say count and this will give me the number of items in our database that are related to this user. And then the one below is the number of comments. I'll actually do the exact same thing. However, we don't have the relationship defined. So I'll do, I'll do that. I'll call in comments and create a relationship for our comments as well. And this should also allow us to kind of do the exact same thing. I'll copy this and I'll paste it over here. And instead of these ideas, I'll replace it with comments. And if you come here, we reload, we have like seven ideas and five comments. So it's working quite fine. One more thing I would like to do is actually, I don't want this follow button if you're viewing our own profile. So if you're viewing someone else's profile, it's totally okay. I want to show this follow button. And also I want us to be logged in actually when we see it. So, or maybe it's okay. We don't have to be logged in. So what, uh, or yeah, let's make sure we are logged in. So I say ought to make sure we are logged in. So just like that. And then I also add a simple if statement and I say if, and here we can get the log ID of the logged in user ID. So we had this method we could call to get the ID of the current logged in user. If it's not identical to the user we are viewing, then don't show this button or only show it when they are not identical. Okay. If they are the same, then we don't need to show it. So I say, end if, and let's format this. So it looks a bit nice. Now we can actually extract this into its own blade file. If you want, that's totally fine as well. I think for now we are good to go. So let's go ahead and reload. Now, right now I'm on the, we are at the user YouTube account, right? So if you look at the top, right, I'll go to another user's profile, user test, and you can see the follow button shows up. So that worked just fine. And I think that's all. So one more thing I would like to do is add a button for editing at the top. So we can actually go to an edit page and this is quite easy to do. So right now we are using justify content between now, if you guys are not familiar, that's a flex box thing. So what we can do is we can add another div here and it's going to allow us to place some buttons at the right. And for now I'll just add a simple a tag and I say edit something like that. And for the route, we need to go to users dot edit. And then we also need to pass in the ID. Now let's reload the page. Uh, it looks okay. Now, one more thing we need to do is we kind of need to do the exact same identical check here, just the opposite of it. Basically, I only want to show this edit button if you're viewing our own profile. So I'll add a check to make sure we are basically the logged in user is identical to the user we are viewing their profile, right? So we can only edit our own profile and I'll do a quick reload. We're getting an error. Why is that? Oh yeah, I forgot the end auth, right? So I'll copy this. 
and I'll put it over here. And now we're good. Okay, so now we are not able to see the edit button. If I go to user number two, we can see the edit button. And of course, once we go to the edit page, it's kind of blank because we don't have anything to edit, which is totally fine. Okay, so now we have created show user page as well as the edit page. Let's go actually create the UI for this because right now we have a blank page. So for simplicity, actually, I'll go ahead and I'll copy our show page. We could technically do what we did for our ideas page. For the ideas, we kind of added like an editing variable here. And we can actually do the exact same thing here as well. And why not? So I'll go ahead and I'll delete our edit.blade file because I think the layouts are exactly identical. We don't need to create a separate file. And I'll also update our user controller and I instead send this to show. But what I would do is I add a button or a variable called editing and I'll set it to true. Just like that. And I'll pass it in to our blade file, okay? And it wouldn't change anything. If you are getting an error, it's because I made a mistake here. Yep. And so everything should work exactly as it did before. We didn't really change anything. Except our edit page now looks identical to our view page. So in order to make this editing variable actually do something, right? We can go on our uh, user card and actually check for it here. So what I want to do is... If we are editing, I want to be able to edit the name and the bio as well as the profile picture. That's the things I want to be able to edit. So let's add a quick check here. We can say if dollar sign editing. Now this variable is going to be undefined on our view page, right? So what we can do is we can use this question mark question mark uh, syntax, which is which was introduced in Laravel eight. I believe it's called the null operator, null operator, and it basically what it does is if Whatever you have here is not defined, it will use the default you, you define on the right side. So if we don't have the editing variable, that means we are not editing. So I'll need an else statement and end if. So if we are editing, uh, I'll add an input here and I give it the class input group. That's the CSS, sorry, bootstrap CSS class. And then I'll have it with type text. And then for the value, I'll set it equal to our user's name. So it's always there. And then this one should be exactly identical. I think instead of Mario, we can display the user's email. Why not? So I don't like the Mario there. And that should work fine. Let's go and take a look. I'll go on our edit page. And we get this input here. I don't know if the CSS class worked. Uh, I think it might be form group instead of input group. I'll do a reload. It still looks the same. Let's check our idea card. We had it on our idea card. It's called form control. I see. Yeah. So let's rename that to form control. And now it looks a bit bigger, a bit better. So, and I'm going to do the exact same thing for our bio or our about. So I'll change that to bio. I like that a bit more. And I'll do basically the exact same code we have here. Okay. It's going to be exactly identical. So what I'll do is I'll add this here. I'll add an else statement and then an end if. And if we are editing, I'll actually copy the exact same thing we had on our idea card. We had a text area. So I'll copy the text area. I'll put it over here. And basically instead of content, I renamed this to bio, the ID again, bio. Now here we don't actually have a bio on our users yet. So I'll leave it empty for now. And then this one is going to be bio as well. So and we do a quick reload. We see we get a decent looking text area. And under it, I'll also add a button. So and I'll call it save. And I'll need to give it a class. I say btn, btn dark, and then btn small. And I'll also give it some margin bottom of three. Uh, let's take a look at looks. It looks okay. Right. So right now this edit won't work because we don't actually have a column on our database for our images. And we also don't have one for our bio. Right. So that's going to be what we will do on the next episode. We'll cover how to add those to our 
table. Also, we'll cover how to do file uploads. Now, you already know how to do updates, but we're going to learn how to do file uploads as well. And I believe that is all for today, guys. One more thing I think we can do is, uh, before we end the episode, show the user's ideas down here, right? Similar to, to Twitter. So we can show the ideas a user has down here. So that's quite easy to do. Uh, I'll go to our show file. And I believe uh, under here, we can actually display it, okay? So I'll move this HR down here. And actually the code for displaying it, we can copy from our dashboard page, right? We have this for each loop with the pagination. I'll copy that. I'll go to our show page. I'll paste it here. Now what we need to do is we need to pass these, these ideas variable, okay? So what I'll do is, this one is quite easy to do. We can basically get our user, get the ideas relationship. So if you don't pass the brackets, it's going to give the, all the users on that, all the ideas on that user. But if you want to get the relationship itself, we can pass in the brackets or parentheses and then call in paginate. Paginate. I cannot type today. Paginate. Okay. And I think I want five per page and I'll name this ideas and I'll pass it down to there. Okay, ideas. And I'll basically copy this here. We can later on refactor this. Ideas, good. And one more thing we could do is if you want to sort these, we can do the sorting here as well. We can say order by and then, you know, create a dad, all those stuff. Or we can actually do it on our user model relationship here as well. So what I can do is I can say order by, let's say created, at and then you know descending now uh, laravel has a shorthand for this if you want to do the created by you can just say a latest and if you define something here it will basically apply anytime you access that relationship and i'll do the exact same thing for our comments as well okay so let's do a reload hopefully everything works we are getting some errors and the reason is here i i should actually do it this way Nice. I, I did it correctly in the edit page, but not on the show page. Let's do a reload and we can now see all the ideas created by that user, right? As you can see, I can go to the second page. And I, I think while we're at it on our comments, we are seeing, still showing Luigi. We can fix that as well. So I'll open up our comment box and here we are hard coding Luigi. So this one is quite easy to do. We can again use the relationships. I'm going to say comment user.name. And I'm not sure if we have the user defined on the comment class. So let's check if we do, then this should be okay. I'll copy this and I'll paste it in the Luigi as well. Uh, we do have an issue. It's known as the N plus one issue. Uh, I'll cover that on a later episode if you guys know what that is. But for now, I think this will get the job done. Let's take a look. I'll do a reload and we can see it shows YouTube. Okay, so now we actually are seeing the name of the user that actually made a comment. And yeah, that is all for today, guys. This episode is already 18 minutes long. On the next episode, I'll show you guys how we can actually update the user profile and also upload a profile image and how to handle file uploads in Laravel. That's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content and have a great day. Bye.